I told him 110 would be better, 120 would be better. He went right to, right to 120. <laughs> yeah, we're about 100 right now. Okay, I'm seeing uh, cylinder head temperatures about 215 degrees on number three, which is the high uh, one. Actually, let me switch frequencies here. Okay, let's switch frequencies. Remind him, uh, manifold pressure 32, RPM 2500. Hey, are you there? Yep, I read you. Okay, I'll monitor the tower and uh, we can talk on this one. And you, you are clean. 35 inches of manifold pressure is your limit. Yeah, I'm just, uh, right now I'm just running about 30 inches and reducing RPM to 2500. Yeah, that's good. And I think you ought to come left or right for a glide cone to the airport. Okay, I'm returning right. Clear right. 100 knots. Sir, ready to climb. It's only 200 feet a minute right now, but he's not trying to climb. Yeah. Yeah, keep an eye on your temperatures, Pete. Yeah, I'm watching it. It's looking, looking pretty stable, but it's still on the high side. Okay. Hey, just move over and look at the tufts, huh? Tower zero four Delta, and I'll be monitoring your frequency. Zero four Delta, thank you. Induction air temperature is indicating about 120 degrees right now. Wow, what? Well, centigrade. Oil pressure is uh, 22 pounds. Okay, we copied that. 120 C on the induction. CHT on number six is up near the top of the green. Now that's why I'm not climbing any faster than I am. Okay. I have talked to the tower and he's cleared us to do what we're doing. Okay. The uh, door latch doesn't seem to show any tendency to uh, vibrate upward. That's good. Well, I guess the tufts under the horizontal are going to be real. So I say that I'm climbing roughly on a par with John Avery here. <laughs> That's right. About the size of it, huh? Yeah. Maybe I'll try to put, put you in a... I'm trying to get my EGTs, but it looks like it's just a loose needle bouncing around. Okay, I understand the EGT gauge is not working. Oh, it looks that way. Okay, if you're comfortable, I'm going to move onto your right wing and move slightly ahead of you to get some better video out of the uh, I'm not sure what the problem is. Oil temperature? Uh, correction, oil pressure is dropping. It's just at the very bottom now. Well, I'll keep an eye on that. What's the oil temperature doing? Well, temperature's about uh, 90 degrees centigrade. Okay, let's not get very far away from the runway if you're losing pressure. Yeah, I know. I was thinking the same thing. As you know, the temperature's pretty stable. Right now it's about 97 degrees. Cylinder head temp is still about where it was. They're stable, but they're high. Okay, and temperature's still going, to, uh, pressure's still going down? Yeah, it's down to about probably 8 TSI now, if the gauge is accurate. He's dropped 14. I'm gonna turn in here. You wanna call the tower for me and tell him that I'm coming back in? Okay, I'll do that. Hey, Mavi Tower, uh, two Mike Uniform and, uh, Zero Ford Elder are coming back in. He's got some, uh, oil pressure indications that are wrong. Okay, uh, where are you at, Mike? We're just to the southeast, turning a kind of a wide base for 3-0. I don't know if we can get down from here. 
Tiger 10, just hold your position there for now, please. I've got one landing with low oil pressure. Just hold your position. 6704 Delta and uh, two Mike Uniform report uh, final runway 30. I've got you in sight. Run winds are calm. Alpha 3004, clear to land. Okay, clear to land. Thanks. Right about there is great. I'm right across. Call me crazy, but he doesn't look so lined up. I, I'm no, he's alright. Of course, Tiger Zero One. I'm not used to uh, looking at it from the side. Tiger One Zero, taxi across eight on Alpha. Taxi across four two two on Alpha. Hold short of one two. Speed's about eighty five. Very nice, Pete. Zero four Delta's on the go. Zero four Delta, Roger. Make a right close pattern and land on uh, three. Constant low pressure drops at twenty eight TSI. I'm not used to Continentals. But... Oh, yeah. I like them a little like twenty. That was this is a five fifty. This is a three sixty. Oh, it's a three sixty. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Continental O two hundred with two more cylinders. And boy, does it did not have any power. I mean, it had power at forty inches. But. It didn't have a lot of power, 30 inches at 2,500 feet. John might have been able to give you a rest, Alan. Yeah, we were too. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> He's certainly faster. <laughs> we decided that that was code for a mayday. We decided to climb like Avery. <laughs> It was I who said that. I want to it. It was a national standard. Yeah. Avery, Avery, Avery. We're at 4,000 feet. <laughs> We were climbing fast, but we were sinking simultaneously. That was the problem. Sure. Oh, good job. Ah. Oh, thank you. Get us.